Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over a really, really good flip that can be used to make millions of coins every single time you actually do this flip and doesn't require, I mean, it requires a good amount of money in the collection, but super, super easy to do and super, super nice. If you guys do enjoy today's video, please consider subscribing. I want to hit 1.5 million, not million, sorry, thousand subscribers before school starts. Also, comment and like for cookies. I know you want it. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So the method I'm going to be going over is a crafting flip. Now, if you don't know what crafting flips are, it's where you take an item, you craft it into something better, you just craft it, and you sell it on the age for more. Now, usually you need to have the collection in order to do these recipes. However, some exclude this, for example, such as special recipes, which everyone gets automatically. Now, what am I going to be going over for this crafting flip? This is going to be in the Slayer recipe, and it is going to be a bow. What bow, you ask? The Juju Short Bow. And here's why. If you look, you need three stacks of string, a stack of enchanted quartz blocks, Eyes of Ender, and Null Avoid. I'm going to get it so I've got like 120 mil, spend it, and it should be ending up being it. I'm ending up my bank to 120 million coins so we can see how much I'm actually, well, losing or making by doing this flip so emptied out my bank till somehow i somehow i fucked that up but i'm at about 1.25 million coins and if i go to bazaar i need three stacks of enchanted string three stacks of enchanted string isn't that expensive it's worth not a whole lot next you need 32 enchanted eyes of ender Again, this also isn't worth a whole lot. However, some things probably will be soon. Next thing you need is 32 blocks of enchanted quartz. Now, this is the part where it gets very expensive. It's 32 enchanted blocks of quartz, it's worth 21 million coins. However, if we create a buy order for 32 blocks of enchanted quartz, it saves you money. So I'm gonna create a buy order for that and wait for it to fill, fill up some. And the last thing, but not least, what do we need? I believe it was like null avoids, right? Yeah, we need 32 null avoids, which you can craft up, but I'm just gonna buy because I'm, well, lazy. Uh, where's the null avoids? Here we go. And this is also pretty expensive. Oh, whoops, I just insta bought that. Alright, so if all this was to sell, I spent 30 million coins on the null avoids and Shanna Corp blocks. And then about 200,000 coins on everything else. So about 30 million coins spent. And that this is a drawback is you need, well, 30 million coins sitting around. Which some people have, but not everyone. So I'm going to go over some earlier game when I'm making methods in a different video. So now this might take a little bit to sell. I mean, I've gotten some buy orders, but it still might take a little bit to sell. If you do want to do this the cheapest way possible, I highly recommend you do actually do buy orders. For example, Null of Voids cost me 10 mil, but if I created a buy order like I was supposed to, it would save me like 400,000 coins. You can save like a mil, mil or two here and there worth of actual just coins to save. Now you get the Juju Shorpa recipe at Slayer or Enderman Slayer Tier 3. So that's what you need in order to craft this up in addition to 30 million coins. Alright, so I was just AFK for about like 30 seconds to a minute or so. And the entire enchanted quartz blocks have sold. So once again, this cost me around 30 million coins to craft. Go into the recipe, put in everything you actually need to get it. I believe it was something like that. Yep. Now we get the Juju short bow. Now, first of all, Juju short bow is just a really good bow, because well. It does damage and fires pretty fast. Ten is better, but of course it is because it's like what billion coins. But if we go on a right now, Juju's the lowest bin are worth 32.5 million coins, and I spent 30 point like two million coins. So I made two million coins profit if I was to sell it in like literally two minutes from buy orders. So I'm gonna sell this up and see how long it takes to sell. I don't think it's gonna take a whole lot of time I'm gonna be 100% real so I need to put this up for 32.3 mil 
right? That should be the low spin. Yep. All right, so now it's up for low spin, and we'll see how long it takes to sell. I don't think GGs don't usually take that long to sell. They are expensive, but people need the bow. Now, a few disclaimers to this method are the facts that um, you should check price before you do this flip. Price has varied in the past; it's been not as good as a flip. I might pass them in like two days ago. In the future, or in the past, it's also been better flips. Like, please check the price before you actually do the flip and do the math. Do every, do all, always do the math before you do the flip for whatever YouTube video it is. If it involves crafting something up, do the math before you flip it. Otherwise, you might end up losing money. So, that was just something to say. Please do, do the math, because it would be a shame if you lost money for not counting. Um, there's some other things you can do to get the juju to sell quicker. Some of these things are to sell for more. Some of these things could include putting on enchants, like chance, cubism, dragon tracer, flame, impaling, all the stuff on this. Putting on enchants and a actual reforge could help boost the product by a lot. So I highly recommend doing that as well if you can. I'm not going to for the sake of the video. However, I would recommend doing that. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please consider subscribing. It means the world to me. Without further ado, see you guys next one. Peace.